than 24 hours after participating in the Yoruba Nation Rally at Ojota, 49 protesters were on Sunday paraded by the Lagos Police Command for unlawful possession of firearms and other dangerous weapons. The state's police boss, Hakim Odumosu, who supervised the parade of suspects at the police headquarters, alleged that the rally was rather intended to foment trouble in the guise of a protest. Our correspondent, Victor Mbadike, was there to bring us more. Oduwa Nation protesters defied warnings by the Lagos State Police Command to steer clear of the state. Citing fears of being hijacked by hoodlums that could result into destruction of property. Ensa started on the peaceful notes. The first three days of Ensa was peaceful. When God was 14 hours, it became violence. And that violence led to what we witnessed massive destruction, lives and properties. That all those who are victims up to now have not gotten out of it. So I will not allow. And once God is telling the report, I laid those things out. I made it in my, in my press conference, the locations, the area those they want to have this. What they intend to do. That intelligence report. So now, now for them to come, for the organizers to come, and people that they mobilize with all this, definitely they don't have peaceful things in their minds. The police say 49 of them will have to face the law on behalf of many who cared less of the consequence. The protest, according to the police boss, had other motives. You see, the officers are shine items and on the streets. So that means they have something in their mind. They are not taking that mm, pre-active, I mean proactive steps. We will have been more interested first that what happened. So we are not. But if it will be peaceful, let it be peaceful. And not adding anything to it. We are coming from 7-Up, descending on Ojota, going towards the Korudu. It's on that bridge that we were descending, we were caught. When we were first stopped, the first, the first set of police we saw checked the vehicle and decided we should go. But it was unfortunate when the next one that is not very fast said, no, they don't go, we should wind down. We did, and he saw, he saw, or he saw me with crown, with full regalia, and said, ah, they are Yoruba, you are part of them. Contrary to allegations against the force, the police has since denied any involvement in the killing of a young girl during the protest on Saturday. <laughs> So whether it was a gunshot, whether it was a sharp object, either the fact that the life has been lost, and what led to that one now will be unraveled through the investigation. And I made the promise that when the video comes out now, it's cool. See arms that will recover there. It could be. But I'm not precluding anything, and I'm not coming out with anyone until investigation. Once the investigation is out, completely now, we shall now know what happened, what did not happen. Although the protesters insist it is their constitutional right to protest, the charge sheet against the arrested suspects is, however, on the wrongful possession of firearms. From Lagos, Victor Radiki, for Silverbird News 24.